Hi, how's it going? I hope you're good. And yes, welcome to another day here on planet Earth. And boy, is things changing. Yes, things are changing. I've just found this article, it's just been released, okay? So this is probably breaking news, all right? Um, almost 11 million people here in the UK are struggling to keep up with their bills. Are you one of those people? Oh no, I certainly am. And I've got a feeling lots of people will see this video and honestly, let me know what you think in the comment section below because the more people that see what's actually being felt across the UK is going to be important as we move through this crazy time. And like I always say, it's a true historical data point of the people, okay? This isn't run through some mainstream editor. This is me talking and you talking in the comments. Yes, 11 million people. However you want to think of that, that is an awful lot of people, okay? Um, it's just, it just goes on. Now, it's, this has risen from January. Um, it's just gone nuts. According to this, rising from 7.8 million people last May, so literally 12 months ago, they reckoned it was about seven to eight million people. That's jumped up to 11 million people with money, worries, um, everything else, because like we can tell, things are going up in price. And it's not just diesel or whatever it is, it's everything. Everything is going up. In fact, contrary to belief, diesel is going down, which is very strange. So we'll talk about that in another video, perhaps. But for now, we're talking about um, the general consensus of um, people's financial commitments, etc. So yes, that's going to be mainly focusing on essential bills, all right? So this is just, wow. Honestly, reading through this, it just, um, it's shocking, to be honest. I mean, I'm not sure if this is being talked about in the mainstream. I was to say, let me know what you think in the comments if you've seen stuff like this being reported or not. I'm not really sure because I don't really watch any television, okay, at all. Um, people have also, here, yeah, check this out. People have been going to extraordinary measures um, to get by, okay? Listen to this. Um, wow, well, one woman resorting to using um, a credit card to cover food and shopping, home insurance and car repairs. So people haven't got their income in their accounts to cover it. They're getting credit cards just to pay off things which they probably wouldn't have done before. All of these things are starting to change now. Um, another spent half of her savings, oh bless her, to fill her oil tank, which she relies to heat her entire home. Now, yes, um, like myself and, and others out here, lots of people do rely on heating oil to heat their homes because it's impossible to get um, gas mains infrastructure out to remote places like where I am, okay? Um, we haven't got an oil tanker, but lots of people do, okay? So yeah, let me know if you live in one of these um, rural locations that have um, oil tankers filled up. How much did they used to cost, um, say, pre-pandemic? So we're talking 2019, and how much was it in 2020, 2021, 2022, and how much is it now? It'd be interesting to hear your thoughts on this, and um, if there's enough traction about this, I could just do a video based on that, because... The more people that actually know what's going on, the more prices difference in um, throughout different parts of the country. That's an important thing to learn as well, okay? Some 11% of those surveyed admitted to putting off financial matters, ignoring warnings, notices, and leaving letters unopened. Now this, this sort of thing's been going on for a long time, to be fair, but it does appear as I um, skim through this article, which has just been released, it does look like it's rising, okay, which is a worry, to be frank. Wow, look at this. The research also found that 29% of people with a mortgage and 34% of renters had faced payment increases in the last six months up to January this year. So this is before Christmas sort of thing, okay. Wow, some 6.2 million people who had insurance and protection policies last May cancelled or reduced their cover by the start of this year. Did you do something similar? 
Were you always paying life insurance, health insurance, holiday insurance, blah, blah, blah? Were you always one of those regular payers, but looked at your um, financial um, situation and thought, do you know what? Cancel them, because we need to pay important bills first, and especially food. It's just, honestly, it could go on, and I don't want to sit here for hours, but the general rule is, it does appear that more people are struggling financially as we head through this bonkers crisis, okay? We've all seen how much food has been going up, especially in Tesco's. Now, there are other supermarkets who are offering similar foods, but Tesco's really do seem to be shooting off like a rocket as regards their prices. Now, we have done videos before where we have announced the profits of Tesco's, and I speak to lots of the staff in my regular Tesco's on a weekly basis, should we say. I only pop in there for a few essentials which I can't get from independent places. So I am at the beck and call of Tesco's, but only I've dropped 90% of the stuff that I get from there. I've whittled it right down to 10%. And it's crazy when I speak to the guys working on there, they say they're short staffed. So I said to them, so, so what is it? No one wants to work there or are the, are the, um, is the company just not recruiting? And he looked at me, he looked around, he lowered his voice and said, they're not recruiting. So Tesco's are literally tightening their belts big time, but putting their prices up. That is absolutely reflected, um, reflected in their profits that they've been getting, okay? So like I said on previous videos, do what you can to boycott companies who are taking the mick and also boycott companies who are part of certain agendas, should we say. That's what I do. And I do get some people say, look, there's nothing we can do about it, what's the point? Now that can be deemed as somewhat a defeatist attitude. And to an extent, it's probably right. But let me tell you this, as a collective, there is lots of us. And the more people vote with their money I mean, look what happened to Bud Light in America. That's a classic example, okay? Lots of people found out what they're up to and completely boycotted them. Their profits sank like a lead weight in a big pond. It literally dropped. Now they're having to replan, restructure their advertising campaigns accordingly. Because guess what? Yeah, if one person didn't go out and buy the Bud Light every week, it wouldn't make any difference. But when we're talking thousands, hundreds of thousands of people doing it, it does make a difference. So yes, we can make a difference, but we need to do it collectively. There's no point thinking, oh, what difference can I make? I'm gonna give up, what can we do? If you carry on doing the right thing, i.e. spending cash instead of card, that's a great thing to do. If everyone watching this video went out to their account and they got cash for that week or for that day or for that month, kept it at home, carried an amount on their person, and everywhere that they went, they used cash. Can you imagine what a difference that would make? And then if everyone watched this video, shared the link to this video to other people, and they saw it, and they done it as well. More and more people start changing the financial structure of this country, because like I said at the beginning of this video, 11 million people are struggling. There's always something you can do. Believe it or not, there is things you can do. Lots of people start to budget and cut back their outgoings. That's an absolute sensible and wise thing to do, of course. But look at the things that you spend money on. Do you really need to spend loads of money on Netflix? Do you really need to spend 700 pound every 18 months on Sky Sports, etc.? Do you really need to spend that money? At best, you're gonna save money and even better, you're gonna find more time in the evenings, more time to look at how you can earn more money rather than just sitting there paying lots of money for inferior services and end up falling deeper and deeper into this money trap. That's just my advice, you take it or leave it. Um, I think it's a sensible thing to do. Um, I've also written some blogs about this on my website, which will be coming soon. And I go into a little bit more detail of what I'm talking about right now. So indeed, let me know in the comments what you think. Have 
you been affected by all of this stuff which has been happening pretty much from 2020 and it's gradually ramping up like this okay we're talking financially so please share this video it really helps if you like what you're hearing and seeing please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell is so important make sure it's selected to all notifications otherwise you're not going to get any flash live streams sometimes i do i can go at any time of the day and boom live stream and if you're not um, subscribed or notified you're going to miss out on live streams okay sometimes we do giveaways and things so it's good to be subscribed and if you'd like it hit the thumbs up because it really helps more importantly if you can share this video get the link from the screen and share it on whatsapp facebook telegram all of the other places okay it does help spread this message so yeah are you struggling financially let me know in the comments why you guys take care thanks for watching and stay funky